Today, let's talk about my five favorite backpacking meals. First one up is tuna alfredo. What you need for this is a pasta side. It doesn't have to be alfredo, it can be anything else. I use a nido, which is kind of like a, a powder milk, uh, tuna packets, and optional green beans. So you add your pasta side to boiling water, just bring it up to a boil. And I add nido um, to it. It it's, uh, brings a little bit of extra creamy, creaminess and I just take whatever I need out of the packet and pack it in a um, Ziploc bag and uh, white tuna. And if you want, and if it's not a long trip and you don't mind the extra weight, it's kind of nice to have green beans in there too. Bring it all to a boil. Combine the green beans and the tuna until they're warm and then boom, you're done. Next one up is pancakes. The ingredients for this is a just add water pancake mix, dehydrated fruit, and optional again is the nido for a little bit of extra creaminess. And I use those little um, syrup packets. I pre-package my pancake mix for the ever amount I need and then um, have my packet of fruit. I put my fruit in a little bit of boiling water just to heat it up a little bit add my water to the pancake mix and stir it up with my hands. Add the pancake mix to, I have a, this mini frying pan I use all the time. I know a lot of people think it's probably a little bit heavy, but I use this all the time. Heat up your pancakes like how you would any other time until they start to bubble on the top. Once they're bubbled, then you just need to flip them over Add your fruit to the top and add your syrup and there you go, a great breakfast. Next up is pork, mashed potatoes, and gravy. The ingredients for this is a dried pork, which you can find in the international aisle in the Asian area, instant mashed potatoes, Lipton onion soup mix. So a lot of people aren't familiar with the pork, um, but this is what the pork looks like. It's a dried up pork that needs to be rehydrated. And here is a picture of the container. I also use like a beefy onion, onion soup mix, but you could probably just use the regular one too. Um, I boil up the water, add the uh, onion soup mix to it. This is going to be your base for like the gravy. When you're making this, you're going to want to use more water than what you would normally use just for mashed potatoes because um, you, the pork is going to soak up some of that water too. So kind of keep that in mind. Add the water and the pork mixture into the mashed potatoes and then you are ready to go. This is a great hearty meal. It really fills you up and it warms you up on a cooler night. Next up is Thanksgiving dinner on the trail. The ingredients for this is grilled chicken packet, a gravy packet, stovetop stuffing, instant mashed potatoes. If you don't want to go this extreme, you could just have the chicken with mashed potatoes or the chicken with the stuffing. I also show corn on here too, which um, you can use too if you want to, that's optional. Boil up some water, add it to the stuffing mix and um, into the instant mashed potatoes. Use some freezer bags. Freezer bags can handle the heat. Um, stir your stuffing and your mashed potatoes. You can do it with your hands or with a spoon. Um, add the gravy packet to the chicken and the water and serve. It, this again is, this is one of my favorite meals. It's a probably a bit extreme, but in reality, it, it's probably not that heavy. Um, it, just the chicken is going to be the heaviest thing you're going to be carrying. My final favorite meal, and this is even not even on the trail, but at home also, is fajitas. For fajitas, you need grilled chicken packet, um, a fresh bell pepper, a small onion, tortilla shells, taco seasoning, and cheese. And you can use those little cheese packets that you get at a convenience store. I usually make this my first night out because, you know, the peppers and the onions are pretty heavy to carry for, you know, 
a long time. Again, here's my little frying pan. I use this to um, fry up my peppers and my onions and I add my taco seasoning mix to it. I add my um, grill ready chicken to it, stir it all up. And then it's done basically, it's pretty simple. It's just a matter of the extra weight of carrying the um, pepper and the onion. And then you have fajitas. So thanks for watching my five favorite backpacking meals. <music>